Hello and welcome back to OmniFit TV. This is your host, Stormer speaking, and tonight's video is simply just a recap of the day. Me touching on points that I found very interesting and hopefully you guys agreeing. And if you guys disagree with anything I have to say, I would much rather promote respectful discourse in the comments section below without any insults or derogatory terms, please. Should be a friendly space. Anyways, I digress. Albania versus Croatia. That was an incredible game. That was quite fun to watch. It was more so incredible because you couldn't really tell what was going to happen or how it was going to end. There was just so much chaos happening. And uh, the Croatian national team is really, really struggling. I did predict that they would finish fourth. I don't think they will. They may end up pulling a rabbit out of the hat in, the, in their last group game. But the Albanians, man. The Albanian national team. This team is nothing like the one that showed up at Euro 2016. They're just much better, much more confident on the ball, despite the fact that there's this gap in quality between them and every other team in the group. This gaping chasm, this black hole of quality, with all due respect to them, but there's just so much character. There's a good amount of character and a thick layer of gumption. These guys want the ball and they want to find solutions and they want to just keep trying. And you could tell that they weren't afraid in either of their games so far. And Gyasula in particular scoring an own goal, a freak own goal, the genuinely just... There are five own goals in this tournament so far. That's just insane to me. The fact that we have five own goals already. I don't know where this is going to go. I mean, as far as I checked from the... Last time I checked the charts, actually, I think um, Musiala was the only player to have scored twice so far in the tournament. And, you know, it's it just it's, it's weirding me out the amount of own goals we're getting. And I really hope it doesn't persist. I mean, Austria lost to France thanks to an own goal. We got an own goal, I think, in, in, in the Swiss-Scotland game as well, but then it was awarded to McTominay. And... You have another own goal in the Albania-Croatia game. I mean, what's happening, man? This just ruins the game. Anyways, I digress. I just felt extremely happy for Gasolat for turning that around and scoring an equalizer in the 96th minute. Of all the scenarios that could have possibly popped up in anyone's head, having a player just completely wreck his national team's chances of possibly getting a point and then redeeming it, in an international tournament, in a continental tournament of this stature, it's cinema, really. I can't even imagine what, what must have been going on in his head. The guy must have been on adrenaline as soon as that ball went in. It was a good finish, by the way. It's just so refreshing. More of these teams should be doing better than they are. And speaking of teams that should be doing better than they already are, Hungary versus Germany. The Hungarian national team have honestly left me stunned, disappointed, and just sad, quite frankly. They came into this tournament having lost no games in 18 months. 18 months! They did really well in the Nations League. They beat England at home and away. They thrashed them at Wembley. They put four past the English goalkeeper. At Wembley which I think was their worst defeat in 72 years. It was just, and I know, it's England. It's Gareth Southgate. You're, you can use that as an excuse. Southgate's a horrible manager. But still, there's so much difference in regards to how these teams set up and the quality from individual to individual. That when you look at their starting 11s, you start to think, okay, this looks very good for the English. And you look, at, you look at Germany as well earlier today and you think, okay, this is very good for the Germans. But the Hungarians should be able to do something. They had good chances, but they just couldn't put anything away. And I really feel for them, man. I really do. I thought that they could... I thought that they had the potential to be dark horses in this tournament. They, they just did. And that wasn't the case. Their 2020 campaign was amazing. Despite the fact that they just didn't have what it take to get out of that group, they still managed to perform well enough to etch something 
deep into the confines of our minds. I still remember their game against France, their game against Germany, despite the fact that they lost their game against Portugal by three goal goals to nil. There was just so much in terms of expectation and potential. And I just feel horrible for them. And then you get Scotland versus Switzerland. That was an interesting game. It felt like it was more even than it should have been. I tried to watch as much of it as possible, bear that in mind. But the overall impression that I was getting was that both teams were a little shaky. Not tactically as much as they were just mentally worried, anxious. Uh, a couple of chances were really, really just on the edge of the blade. Extremely close to cutting it. And neither team could strike that killer blow by the end. However, you have a player like Zerdan Shakiri, who is European football quality, champagne football incarnate. And the guy just shows up once every four years and scores an absolutely incredible goal. And then he just dips. <laughs> he did that against Scotland. As far as I know, he was struggling with his club before the tournament. I was surprised that he was picked. But why was I? Really? When you think about it, there's no reason to be surprised. It's Shakiri. He's going to show up, do that, and leave. Whether I like it or not. And honestly, I'm here for it. I enjoyed it. That was incredible. But I think there was more to this game than the scoreline gave away, despite how difficult it was to just keep up at one point. However, again, I think either team could have gotten a lot more from this game, despite the scoreline. And I do believe that this leaves things open for the Hungarian national team to somehow find a way. Now, Germany have been confirmed as the very first team to make it into the round of 16. I think everyone expected that. Tomorrow, though, I can't wait for Italy and Spain. I was going to say France. I, was gonna, I can't wait for Italy and Spain. Man, this tournament is kicking my butt for sure. I'm at a loss for words sometimes. Sometimes I just can't help but pause and reflect... That or I'm completely in shock for the most part. And I hope that that's been the reaction of everyone else on the other side of the screen. The good kind of shock. Not that my blood pressure is high and I may end up collapsing and I may need to be taken to the hospital kind of shocked. You know? Because that's not good. There is a lot of that going around and football can do that to you. So, uh, I really hope everyone's toning it down. I sure need to. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh... You will find the links to our social media accounts in the description below if you want to follow us on TikTok, Instagram, X, Facebook, or here on YouTube. You can subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and tell me what you think of anything I've had to say. Leave a like if you like the video, and you can leave a dislike if you don't like it either. That's perfectly fine with me, you know, as long as uh, everyone's nice to each other, and hopefully to me. Thank you once again for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, again, just go ahead and do that. If you enjoy our content, I post content on a daily basis. I love football. I love doing this. And I love interacting with you guys. It's a joy. It's something I look forward to every day. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the tournament. I hope you guys have enjoyed match day one and uh, the introduction to match day two, which today was. And I hope you're all looking forward to the rest of the tournament. Good luck to all of your teams. My commiserations to any of you who have watched their national team suffer. And may we all find a reason to be happy by the end of this tournament. Speaking of tournaments in general, the Copa America is starting tomorrow. That's another topic, literally for another day. I've been Omar, you've been wonderful, thank you all once again. And I will see you all in my next video.